forecast for July 2024. So on July 21st, we are going to have our second full moon in Capricorn pop off at a critical karmic 29th degree. So let's rewind back to cancer season. When we entered into that solstice energy, we had a full moon in Capricorn pop off not even 24 hours into the season under that solstice karmic reset. And that particular full moon in Capricorn was at a one degree. A one degree is a new chapter, a new beginning. And if you think back, your life was probably disrupted in a big way at that particular time. Why? Well, first of all, solstice energy, that is a karmic reset. So we had many choices, many options to actually choose from. Many of us were kind of thrown out of situations and circumstances that our ego self would have preferred to stay in, but our higher self knew better. And that is why there's been some turbulence. There's been a disruption. Our physical realms, our materialistic realms have been shook up in such a way where we can no longer go back to some of the situations and circumstances that we were dealing with at the beginning of cancer season. That full moon was the disruption needed, the first domino that fell over, if you will, to lead us to this full moon in Capricorn. At a critical karmic 29th degree, we are not messing around. This is like shit or get off the pot. OK, we cannot go back to old systems and structures. We cannot go back to old relationship dynamics, old careers, old familial di dynamics at this particular juncture. There's been too much pain and trauma, too much distance, too much detachment. We're not going back. We have to consider the fact that Saturn, who rules over this Capricorn energy, Saturn is retrograde in Pisces energy, closing out a 30 year chapter. Neptune is also retrograde in this Pisces energy at a 29th degree. For me to sit here and tell you that this is the final sweep, this is the final hurrah, that we will essentially be cleaning up this debris from the mess that this karmic cycle has made from now until the fall, Please hear me loud and clear. We're going to be moving into some serious energies here in the fall. If you need to go ahead, take a listen to that part two of the 2024 energy forecast that I put out there at the beginning of the year. That is going to remind you that we have an eclipse season yet for us to go through. That eclipse season is going to give us a taste on what the Virgo and Pisces axis is going to be for us for the next two years. Shit is about to get real, my friends. We are in the year of eight. Eight is about power and control through the transformation of the ego death process, pushing us into our higher self. This particular full moon, because it is ruled over by Saturn, we have to consider the fact that systems and structures that have been shaken, that have been illuminated on where it is that they're too weak for us to continue to build on them, those are collapsing. Those are being removed. We have certain karmic chapters that we cannot go back to that we still have to provide an ending and closure to. So this particular full moon, although very similar to the first one that we had at the beginning of cancer season, if you download the moon guide, you're going to realize that we're actually in a much better situation with this full moon in Capricorn than we were the first time around. We have to take a good look at the energy the elemental energy profile. Right now we have even fire, air, and water low on earth. And that really kind of tells me that we are making the changes within ourselves. We have a new passion, new excitement, new inspiration, fueling the fire, fanning the, fanning the flames. And this is us in a new version of self. I'm going to ask you, have you seen some major changes within yourself over this past month? For the better or for the worse depends on your perspective. Let me also just say that anything that is meant for you cannot be removed. So if you're dealing with quote unquote loss, endings, closures, that is not a punishment. That is the universe, your higher self looking out for you when your ego self is pushing for topics and themes and aspects and karmic chapters that you have no business being in. OK, so this particular energy, because it is Saturn ruled, is very karmic in nature. There is a very kind of I'm going to say rare energy that happens when we have back to back full moons. 
um, specifically in these latter signs of the zodiac wheel because they're very karmic in nature and you can't get any more karmic than Capricorn energy being ruled over, solely ruled over by Saturn. Side note, Aquarius placements, I'm also looking at you, seeing as Saturn and Uranus have rulership over you as well. We're definitely going through it. So first of all, I am going to encourage you to listen to your July Zodiac forecast if you haven't already so that you understand which area of your life this is going to impact you the most. There is the Cancer Season e-guide that this particular event will bring a closure to as we move into Leo season. That is just essentially 24 hours away from the peak potency of this full moon and Capricorn popping off. So not only are we kind of, you know, having a final hurrah here with the karmic chapters, we're also closing the door on Cancer Season and we're about to be reborn, rebirth, resurrected, renewed, moving into Leo season. Why? Because the sun is in his rulership and Leo energy and that is our tr true, real, raw, authentic vibration, authentic soul self that is now being asked to be fully expressed and animated through this new physical form, this new identity that we are currently taking on. So I want to talk about the difference for a second. In the first full moon in Capricorn that we had, we had a lot of cons on the list, a lot of tough interactions. Tough interactions or that con list is tension and conflict because we're going through growing pains. Now, not to say that we're not going through growing pains under this full moon in Capricorn because we are, but compared to the list of the first full moon, we're definitely lower on those tension points. It's almost as if and it's going to feel a little bit wonky to say this. It's almost as if this full moon in Capricorn is presenting more like a new moon. A new moon is dark. It's heavy. It's weighted. It is an ending point in order for a new beginning point to take place. Typically speaking, a full moon is a full illumination of what needs to go, what needs to be released, what we have to close the door on. I feel like we kind of got that indicator about a month ago under that full moon in Capricorn, the first one. Now it kind of feels more like a new moon. Now, new moons are notorious for highlighting the old, but also giving us little silver linings, little glimmers, little hopes, if you will, on the new. And that is very much what's going on under this particular full moon as yes, there is some disappointments, there is some endings, there are some closures. However, we pivot very quickly and we see the new carrot being dangled in front of us, so to speak. There is more clarity. There is more, I'm going to say details gifted to us under this full moon in Capricorn compared to the first one. So of course, I am going to encourage that you do download that moon guide, that you do do the work within yourself. This is essentially the, let's call it castle of cards, the host of cards, finally falling, finally crumbling, finally collapsing. And as I previously mentioned, we are going to be spending the duration of time from now until the fall cleaning up the mess, cleaning up the debris of this particular fallout before we actually start initiating and clearing the path towards futuristic goals and visions. With all of these planets in a retrograde and side note, Mercury is in his pre retrograde shadow period for this particular full moon in Capricorn. He was full steam ahead, the last full moon in Capricorn and Mars. Mars was in Taurus energy the last go. We have Mars fresh in Gemini energy. So we're tapping into that warrior type of spirit to come up with a plan and strategy on how it is that we're going to either charm or manipulate our way to this new path, to this new goal, to this new direction, this new carrot being dangled in our faces. So there are some pro, very, very strong pros taking place underneath this particular full moon. And I will say Pluto is right there with that moon. We have Pluto at a zero degree here in Aquarius energy. Yes, he's retrograde. So this is talking about the inner change, the inner transformation that we're all going through in our soul, in our spirit. Pluto and the moon are working together to make this, I'm going to say inner realm change and trans 
transformation actually permanent. You know, we're building in our power, we're building in our sense of control, we're building in our ability to see where the egoic programming of fears, doubts, and insecurities have been playing at us to try and keep us in a state of paralysis. We also have positive aspects with Neptune, Mars, and Uranus. This is giving us the support, the determination, the resources, the direction, the dream, the ambition to actually focus on the good, to focus on the new. We're not kind of crying over spilled milk. We did that back at the beginning of cancer season. And for many of us, we did it all the way through cancer season. We're not crying over what could have been. We are now trying to reassure ourselves that if it was for us, it would still be an active part of our physical realm. It is not. We are graciously finding acceptance in our heart space to bring certain chapters, certain topics and themes to a close. So the pivot point that is coming at us with this full moon in Capricorn is going to be very evident. Okay, you're going to feel it within yourself. Yeah, there's going to be a heaviness, a weight that just accompanies, you know, endings and closures. But there is going to be the spark, this fire, this flame that gets reignited very early on as we move into Leo season and understand where it is that we're better off for kind of losing, if you will, some of the dead weight that, of course, karmically speaking, wasn't it wasn't meant for us to hold on to any longer. So at the same time, this is give and take. This is where we're coming from, where it is that we would like to go, where it is that we thought we would be at, where it is that we're realistically at. And because of this, we are going to have some profound aha moments, some light bulb moments, some, some epiphanies pop off on where it is that we would like to go from here.